This video is part 4 of 5. I will go over how to record audio tracks using a very basic setup. A built-in sound card, Windows XP, and a microphone plugged directly into the computer. First, make sure that you have an active input. For example, you should see these view meters light up when you tap on the microphone. I am tapping on the mic right now, but nothing is lighting up. So click on this button and a drop-down menu will appear. Click on Recording Devices, and that will open the Windows Recording Control Panel. Most Windows XP computers will have one of these. Although the appearance will vary a little, depending on what kind of sound card you have. They will look more or less the same, however, and should be straightforward enough to figure out how to use. In this Recording Control Panel, you need to mute the devices that you don't want to record. The microphone is the only device not muted. But since there is nothing showing up on the VU meters, then it's possible that my microphone is plugged into the line input instead. Let's try unmuting line and turn off the microphone input. Now the VU meters are lighting up, but maybe a little too much. The meters are going into the red, which means any audio that gets recorded could be clipped. So I will turn down the main recording input level. That looks better. Depending on your sound card, you might have the option to monitor what you are recording. Or in other words, whatever goes into the microphone, you can hear through the headphones. In real band, click here and click on Playback Devices. That will open a volume control panel, another part of Windows, and once again, this depends on your sound card so it will look a little different on each computer. Line in is the active input in the recording control panel, so disabling mute in the volume control should allow input monitoring. And now I can hear the microphone through the headphones. When you have an active audio input and the level is set right, then you are ready to record in real band. It's a good idea to do a quick take and make sure everything gets recorded right. Make sure that there is no strange noises, no feedback, and the audio is not getting clipped. Just record a few bars, and then play it back to make sure it sounds okay. It's a good idea to play your instrument how you normally would. Don't play too loud or too quiet. If you are planning on recording a solo, it might be a good idea to mute any soloists in the song, as they can be a little distracting. To start recording, all you have to do is select an audio track, and when you press record, it will get recorded onto the selected track. To start recording, just hit the red recording button. After a few bars, hit stop, choose yes to keep the take, and have a listen to what you just recorded. In part 5, I will go over how to add tracks to your song by recording MIDI. 